Yeah. I'm talking about the... First off, I'm a Dallas native. I was born and raised in Dallas, Texas. And I'm talking about the Botham, the Botham case. And the reason why it don't make sense. Here in Dallas, the police is dirty. Always have, always will be. You know what I mean? But to, I'm going to tell you what I think my opinion, but why it makes sense is because we know they laws dirty and they'll set you up out here. You know what I mean? Dallas police. Then we, and the, what the police know and what the government know and what they're trying to do is, is they are trying to start, uh, let me see, a catastrophe. You know what I mean? Chaos. Because they know out here in Dallas, Texas, how the blacks are. In Dallas, Texas, the blacks will start a ride just because the Cowboys won the Super Bowl. The blacks will shoot a person down just because the Cowboys lost in Texas Stadium. The blacks will, as, as you know, a couple years ago, 12 laws were shot down by the blacks out here in Dallas, Texas. The government needs chaos. You know what I mean? They need chaos. And the chaos, they feel like they know how blacks are in Dallas, Texas. Police really. And Dallas, Texas is majorly known for aggravated crimes. Ro aggravated robbery, murder, drug dealing. This is what goes on in Dallas, Texas. You know, the police is dirty. And everybody in the United States should know this. Okay. This is what I want to say about the Botham and Geiger case. Because the whole, the whole process of what went on, how she was locked up, all that was wrong. You know what I mean? To tell you the truth, I believe Geiger and both of them had a relationship going on. Because you have two witnesses that said they heard a, a woman beating on the door saying, let me in, let me in. Okay, then they said after that they heard shots rang out and a guy saying, why'd you do that? You know what I mean? I feel the, I feel the, I'm going to give you a couple examples of this. Not the only time this has ever happened, but this is the only time that it happened and a police officer was the killer. Okay, like back in like, I'm going to say 2009, between 2008-2010, it was a police officer named Smith. He knew a drug spot. In, in Oak Cliff, you know what I mean? He knew a drug spot in Oak Cliff. And he didn't make himself known. In Dallas, police officer, when they come to your door, this is officers, period. When they knock on the door, they supposed to announce who they are. You know what I mean? Why Gaga didn't do that? Even if she went, even if the door was cracked and she went in and, and, and she thinking it's her house, which she knew it wasn't her house because what apartment complex or any building you go in that has an elevator or multiple floors don't have the floor number on it. Come on, y'all. Think. You know what I mean? But anyway, Officer Smith went into a known drug infested area and a dude was trapping out of his out of this apartment complex. And neighbors seen Officer Smith trying to get up in the house, break up in the house. He was trying to break up in the house. He did not announce himself. And the neighbors called the dude and was like, man, somebody is trying to break up in your house. So the dude got a gun. And when the officer broke in the house, he shot and killed the officer. They didn't get him manslaughter, even though the officer was breaking into his house without announcing himself. They gave that man 99 years. 
Okay, I got a homeboy. I'm from West Dallas. Got a homeboy named Clue. Same incident. My partner right now is in the penitentiary. Is not coming home because an officer tried to break up in his spot and he shot the law. Didn't think he was thinking it was some normal dudes that was breaking in to come and rob him and take what he had. Dang.